Got the Maxi Track 5 inch Alice. Thought I might do a little video clip just to give people an idea, a few little tips on how you can get the pumps working nice and easy. This is actually a brand new loco. Done a few things to it, but uh, one of the processes is we still have to boil a test them and everything before they go out. Uh, if you look closely, there's a couple of things that'll be different on this one. I've got an old pressure gauge on here, so you won't see any pressure registered. And also, I've taken the top out of this check valve, which comes from the hand pump, whipped the pipe off the bottom, and I pulled the bolt out so we can run it on air, can get some air into the boiler. So the axle pump is mounted in between the frames here, while it's off the eccentric on the rear axle. What happens with the pumps is the balls get stuck in the pumps. And there's a very simple solution for doing something about this. So I've just boiled a nice fresh kettle of boiling water. I fill the tank up with hot water. And also, with the aid of this funnel, pour hot water over the pump itself. So I'm dousing the pump in hot water. As it gets nice and warm, everything expands. Most of the time, the balls free up and they start to work. Much the same on the hand pump as well. I'll do that in a second. But we've got the bypass here. So the bypass tells the pump where you want the water to go. If you open the bypass, then the water can come back up into the tank and it pumps a circuit. As soon as you close the bypass, the pressure from the pump has got nowhere to go, so it forces itself up through this check valve into the boiler. So we've put some air on it now, we'll run it up and we'll see if this pump's working. It's a good way to work out if you've actually got any water in the boiler, and then your pump's working. Blow down the boiler so you've got nothing but air coming out. And when you run the air, if the pump starts pumping, you'll start to fill the boiler. You can hear a slight note change when you open the bypass or close it. That's actually the pump pumping now. And that's it open. But because this one's actually making the right noises, I'm now going to fill it up with cold water. And a good way to see whether the pump is pumping as well, is fill the tank completely to the top. That way, if it's pumping, the water level goes down and you can see it. This is just cold water, not boiling water this time. It's filled completely to the top. And if we start it up, Open and close the bypass to clear the air. Pump it up again. You should see the water level start to stop, start to drop. The other way to tell if the pump's working as well, and I suggest you only do this when you've got cold water in it, is actually you can just undo this little nut here. The check valve has a ball bearing in it, which is a one-way valve, so no pressure should be able to come back. So if you open this little valve up, or open this little nut off, you should get quite a lot of water squirting out. You can see, you pull that part off, it's squirting water. It's squirting water, you know that's pumping. <laughs> Quick shower. <laughs> the surefire way of really making sure is let the loco run for a little bit on air. Switch it off. Remove your air pressure. 
and then open the blow down. I count this, we want something like about 15, 20 seconds worth of water to come out. It shows that the pump's working properly. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. All right. So I think that pump's working pretty good. I'll be quite happy with that. The next one to try is the hand pump. Unfortunately, you've taken the ball bearing out of here, and you've got air on the top. You can't just test the hand pump with this air in. So what I'm going to do now is I'll take this out, put the check valve back together, and we'll give this a good douse of hot water too, and I'll pump that too. But once again, if you've opened the blow down and there's no water left in the boiler. Close it and we'll try the hand pump. Okay. So you've got your ball bearing that you've taken out earlier. Drop that in, put the lid on the check valve, screw that on nice and tight. Oops. And we fill the water tank right the way to the top again. Pop your pump handle on, chances are you're going to get nothing out of the pump. All the balls are stuck. And they tend to, the balls get stuck. So obviously you'd better do this outside, but use your hot water. Give the pump a really good dousing with hot water. And you can also give it a light tap with a hammer as well. Release those balls. And suddenly the pump starts pumping. Go. So fill the tank right to the top again. And as the pump's working, you should see your level drop. And the best way to really check, open up your blow down again. Just check the water's actually getting into that boiler. So all that does is show you that the hand pump is working as it should do. It's not showing you that it'll work under pressure. But if there are any problems, you'll know it'll be in the check valve. So that's pretty much all we do on the pumps. Once we know that they're all working, you're then on to your other mechanical parts, a good oil up, making sure uh, everything's ready for the new season. Last thing you want to do, just check you've got no leaks anywhere. So give it a good blast off. Really, you want to be looking the nuts of the bypass pumps anywhere around. You just don't want to be leaking water if you can help it. If you do find you've got any leaks anywhere, undo the nut, put some PTFE on it, reseal it again.